Please welcome Clive Owen. I think we've met before, I don't actually. Think we have, no. yeah. Well, nice to meet you, nice and, to meet and, you. and thank you for being here. And uh, you are from where? I am from originally a small town called Coventry, which is about a couple of hours out of London. Coventry? Yes. I don't know that I've heard of that. No. It's really small? It's a very small town, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very um, working class town, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and how did you come to, to act coming from a place like that? Um, I did a school play when I was 13. Mm -hmm. I was cast as the Artful Dodger, mm -hmm. and I became completely obsessed and decided I was going to be an actor from then on. And then moved where? Then eventually, I spent a lot of time there. I was unemployed there for a couple of years, and eventually was incredibly lucky, applied to the Royal Academy in London and got a place. Wow. And then you met your wife acting as well, right? We met in a very schmaltzy way. We were playing Romeo and Juliet nearly Aww. 20 years ago. That's very sweet. So, and then, and how long ago? We, we met 20 years or maybe a bit more than that, and we've been married 15. Wow. So, and the, did you both know right away? Was it uh, immediate I between both of you? straight away, yeah. And did she fall in love with you right away? Uh, probably not. No? <laughs> <laughs> she came in, um, she was very, she was late for the read-through, the very first time I ever met her, and uh -huh. she came in, she had glasses on, and she'd been on a cycling tour collecting all these second-hand books. Mm -hmm. And she came in late, and all the books were falling, and... I sat there and fell in love with her straight away. That's very sweet. And then now you have two daughters. We do, yeah. How old? Hannah and Eve, 10 and 12. Mm -hmm. And uh, is, that, is that tough, having teenagers? Do they it's... know that their dad's cool and sexy? Do they understand that? Um, no. I have very low status in my house. Really? Yeah. There's, lo there's lots of eye rolling at the moment. There's uh -huh. lots of, uh, if only they could see what you're really like. <laughs> really? Yes. Tell us what you're really like. <laughs> what, why do they say that? What are you doing that they say that? No, I, I, I enjoy playing very low status in my house because I love to see them going... Yeah. I like, I like seeing that. But if they only knew, I mean, that's so, that's, it's always amazing to me when people like you that are considered, like all these women are screaming, and then they're teen, you have teenage daughters who just don't understand that their dad is, like, really cool. No, they, they, definitely, don't, don't, they no. Don't, definitely don't think that, no. And, and when, they, when they start dating, will that be something... Terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. Uh -huh. I'm heading there fast, yeah. Uh, well, seriously, they're yeah. getting close yeah. to being teenagers, right? Yeah. And do you still live in England, or...? In London, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so, uh, is it... Do, do girls start dating as young there as they do here? Because it's like... I think it's eight now here. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. No, um, Hannah, the eldest, hasn't, hasn't really had a, had a boyfriend yet. I remember years ago, Eve, when she was about six, walking her to school, and there was a little kid walking across the road over there, and she said, there's Daniel, he's my half-boyfriend. And I said, well, what, what do you mean, half-boyfriend? She said, I share him with Maddie. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, we do that here, too. Um... <laughs> All right, so this movie seems, uh, first of all, it's beautiful. It's shot where? In South Australia. South Australia. And uh, it's called The Boys Are Back. Explain the, this. It's, it's based on a, a, a memoir, somebody's real life. Um, there was a, a journalist living out there whose wife very sadly dies of cancer, and he's left with his young seven-year-old boy. And it's about all the ups and downs of them sort of grieving and getting their lives back on track. And then into the equation comes the 15-year-old boy from a previous marriage, who's got to the age where he wants to come out and get to know his father, and suddenly you've got these three guys in the house trying to make it work. And, um, and it's, it's shot... Is, is there, like... There's, like, wildlife everywhere, right? It's amazing. It was so stunningly beautiful, that part of the world. It really... I'd never been there before. My, my girls and the family came out, and they consider it the best place they've ever been. Yeah, really. I've... You know, Porsche's from Australia, and I'm dying to go. I've it's, never been, but it's I... It's amazing, and it's... There's such a sense of space and wildlife and amazing beaches, and it's really stunning. Yeah, I, I, it's, it, well, I, I look forward to you going. Go? I will. <laughs> <laughs> I will go soon. The Boys Are Back is in select theaters now. We'll check in with Boston University after this. Don't go away. Clive Owen, everybody. Please welcome Clive Owen.
think we've met before, actually. Have, no. yeah. Well, nice to meet you, nice and, to meet and, you. and thank you for being here. And uh, you are from where? I am from originally a small town called Coventry, which is about a couple of hours out of London. Coventry? Yes. I don't know that I've heard of that. No. It's really small? It's a very small town, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very um, working class town, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and how did you come to, to act coming from a place like that? Um, I did a school play when I was 13. Mm -hmm. I was cast as the Artful Dodger mm -hmm. and I became completely obsessed and decided I was going to be an actor from then on. And then moved where? Then eventually I spent a lot of time there. I was unemployed there for a couple of years and eventually was incredibly lucky, applied to the Royal Academy in London and got a place. Wow. And then you met your wife acting as well, right? We met in a very schmaltzy way. We were playing Romeo and Juliet nearly oh, 20 years ago. That's very sweet. So, and then, and how long ago? We, we met 20 years or maybe a bit more than that, and we've been married 15. Wow. So, and the, did you both know right away? Was it uh, immediate I between both of you? straight away, yeah. And did she fall in love with you right away? Uh, probably not. No? <laughs> She came in, um, she, was very, she was late for the read-through, the very first time I ever met her. And uh -huh. she came in, she had glasses on, and she'd been on a cycling tour collecting all these second-hand books. Mm -hmm. And she came in late, and all the books were falling, and I sat there and fell in love with her straight away. That's very sweet.